that when he seen her, it literally started crying in donkey. Like, <laughs> like you know the sounds a donkey makes, but it was crying. And it just oh. walked up to her. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Candid Cloud Convos. It's your girls, Gina and Emilita. We're back, baby. Back at it. We got some shiz to talk about today, y'all. So we're just gonna we're just I'm gonna get right back into it. Yeah. Right, 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 right quick. Right quick. Like never left. Exactly. I saw some crazy shit. What'd you see? That scientists are reincarnating the woolly mammoth. <sighs> okay. Okay. Do you want to know why? Is That's that my first, first question. question. <laughs> <laughs> I can answer that for you for the first time ever. <laughs> so it's um, their project began back in 2021. And basically, they spent $60 million just in funding for Series A of this project. So I don't even know how much money this is going to cost for like the entire project. Mm-hmm. However, they are saying that this could help the earth today as it fights climate change. According to a recent post, it says this is because the mammoth has a huge migration pattern that will help improve the Arctic Arctic's ecosystem. So I don't really know what that means, but mm-hmm. <laughs> supposed to help. <laughs> I don't know how much, you know, <laughs> well, I, I'm guessing more than $60 million worth. I would hope I mean, if they're going to spend that much money, I hope they're getting that in return. But that thing is humongous. Have you ever like just pondered? Upon, have you ever seen you know, a wobbly mammoth? I'm like, have you ever <laughs> pondered upon it on Google and just really looked at the the size of the thing? Um, like, I think I've seen it in like, I don't even know what I say. I feel like maybe it was, was it Ice Age? I was going to say, I yeah. literally feel like it's a random like animated thing showing how much bigger a woolly mammoth is than like other animals oh or than God, a regular I elephant they, i think that was at like a museum or something we went to like first you know what i'm talking about yes i know exactly it's the most random you... memory yeah yeah yeah. but it like gets yes yeah they compare it to different stuff besides yes this. yes i know exactly what you're where the hell did we watch that <laughs> no idea I've regardless no idea. huge very that's a girthy animal <laughs> <laughs> we, they take us on safaris <laughs> going to go see them <laughs> have you, dude have you seen um i've seen a picture of like so it's a zoo but the thing is like the people who are visiting the animals are in the cage like in a truck oh yeah the people are in the cage versus the yeah. animals and i thought that was actually really cool yeah i like that a lot better because because you know you know well, that's when you're going to go see them in the wild so like exactly. let them do their thing yeah and then yeah, like leave them be I would still be so terrified. I I really don't oh. know if I do it to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. And you know what like I thought it, of too? The picture. There's a tiger or lion that's on top of it. What if it just starts peeing on you? Oh, what? Oh my god! I bet that's happened so many times. I'm sure. You yeah. wear a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> just like an umbrella. A face shield, the like clear ones. Yeah, like I really thought about that. Ooh. I was like, what if it just started peeing? as it I've should a, it's, it's in, in its habitat yeah i've seen a lion do that to someone like it got in their mouth yeah all over their face and their you mouth ever tell somebody that that happened like would yeah. be that would that be something you bragged about or <laughs> not brag but i'd be like you would not believe <laughs> that shit that happened to me yesterday but i think that would bother you so bad if it was a tiger too because you love tigers so like would that ruin a little bit like would that hurt a little like sting a little bit it would definitely it would definitely sting but you know yeah. it's a story it in your eyes <laughs> <laughs> i would they go to eye flushing station have you ever had to do that you know how uh, in school no. they have that little eye flushing um mm-hmm. like air sink thing yeah no i never had to did you worst 
I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. I think I lied. And I said that I had something in my eye because I got caught like late to class. I don't know, something. And so I like lied and said that I needed, I couldn't get something out of my eye. So she uh-huh. brought me to the office to do an eye washing, like you eye flushing. And you and hate I had to go stuff. through. Yes. And I was like, Hi, Did you have makeup on? I don't think so. I think it was like high or something. Oh, okay. I was going to say that would be even worse. Now you have actual something (laughs) in your eye. Yeah. The mascara, you look like you freaking were a runaway bride or something. (laughs) Oh my God, dude. Okay. Kind of off topic, but thinking of like- That's what this podcast is for. Yeah. Like thinking of things going in your eye. I seen this video of a girl putting in color contacts and- Mm -hmm. I like I don't use contacts so yeah. whenever I see people using contacts it always I'm like oh because like I just can't the imagine like, idea of having to but what's weird is that I'm fine taking things out of my eye like an eyelash like I'm you fine touching touch your eye like if you yeah, have something like you'll let other people do it like I'm fine with that that's weird but contact that's so weird. I think because because I know it can like slip somewhere or something like that you know but it really doesn't like it feels secure when you have it on well, it did in this video. <laughs> I'll tell you why after you explain it. I'll tell you why. So she's putting it in and it's like slipping around. And she's like, oh my God. And then it goes onto her like people or whatever. Right. People? People, yeah. Yeah. And so she's fine. And then she's blinking and talking and it slips backwards. And she starts freaking out, right? Because she's like, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> yeah. And she like lifts her eyelid and you see it right there mm-hmm. under her eye. And then she's like, she freaks out again. She Thankfully blinks. It was colored. You wouldn't and be able to see it just moves back to normal. And then it was fine. And I'm like, that's the exact, the exact reason. Because I know I would like lose my mind. I would yeah. freak the hell out. You just start crying and it just goes down for you. <laughs> um, the <laughs> reason why the, the um, colored ones are a little different than like eyewear contacts. So it's yeah. just normal like for prescription. But the reason why is because the ones that have color are like thicker, like they're considered like hard contacts versus these are soft contacts. Uh-huh. So yeah, sometimes, worse. yeah, sometimes when I put it on, like I don't get it exactly where it needs to be. So when I blink, it like just goes moves. to your pupil, like it's supposed to do that. I don't know. It's so weird. But yeah, that's dude, awesome. I cannot. I cannot. I've never had it like go in the back though. Like, ah! no. Dude. Because people say, too, if you fall asleep with their contacts in, that they can roll behind there. Is very, that true? <laughs> I am very guilty of that. However, it's never happened to me before. Oh, good. I have okay. woken up with one on my cheek, though. Like, dry, crispy, like, you can crack it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. It was gross. <laughs> that's all of funny. Yeah. And Dude, all, honestly, I will tell you um, real quick while we're talking about contacts. The last day of school, our senior year, I went to school with one contact in because I had slept in my contacts it fell out and I couldn't find it and the problem was that it was the contact that has my astigmatism prescription which is my left eye so that one like it needs even more of a like it's the same prescription but it's just a different um type of contact I guess like it's even different on the box and stuff so Uh I need more correction in that eye than I do in my right and I literally drove to fucking school like I was (laughs) like this last day of school like nothing literally like that and then I was like oh my god what am I gonna do for graduation this man I had to like rush order my contacts but they're not cheap y'all like not at all I remember when my mom would have to order it for her and my sister yeah yeah and it's like with your insurance, you can either choose to get glasses or you can choose to like put it toward your contacts. But the problem is usually you only get six month boxes at a time or in my case, mm-hmm. that's what I get. So I'm like, why would I get six months supply versus getting glasses that I can wear all yeah. the time? And sometimes I don't want to wear my contacts because my eyes will be like dry or like when I have, yeah. allergies and stuff. you know, to each their own. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. But- I mean, it sounds like it makes sense. Yeah, so the woolly mammoth, Harry Beast is coming back. But I wonder if that's going to, like, what, I wonder what else it'll really bring besides just, oh, that it helps with climate change. But, like, I wonder what else it'll change that they don't know yet because it's yeah. a different time than when they were alive before, you know? <laughs> like how they say, like, the butterfly effect. Right. You know, it's like, oh, this is going to do so, like, so much good. And even if it does, but, like, what else can happen? But I'm wondering, like, how... Like, like will it bring back other animals somehow? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What if it brings back dinosaurs and it'll be like Jurassic Park? 
<laughs> like, I, like, I wouldn't put it past them. Let's be real. I would literally I'd just be like, it's my time then. Yeah. Like God is I don't want to stay around. Yeet me off the planet. I'm not For staying real. around to see dinosaurs. No. 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 Compared to oh. Wooly Mammoth, that T-Rex is even bigger. <laughs> so what do I look like? That's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. To think that a T-Rex is bigger than that. And that's already huge. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Probably makes giraffes look like little, tiny little things, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've never really, they look like horses compared to the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> People just started riding giraffes. Um, that hurts my soul a little bit. That hurts riding my giraffes. soul a little bit. Yeah. I don't like that. Mm-mm. How do they do? Well, if they did, <laughs> that, like would, that hurt. was to happen. <laughs> it was. That hurts my soul. I don't like that. <laughs> Before elephants were my favorite animal, giraffes were my favorite animal. Really? For a long time. But also That's because crazy. I think because my dad's favorite animal at the time, I don't know if it still is, but his favorite animal was a giraffe. So I was like, mm-hmm. same thing. By default, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm a Raider you know fan what? because my family is a Raider fan. You know, same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry about it, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know they suck, you know. We don't have to. Talk. This is not a sports podcast, but I'm loyal, bitch. <laughs> no, you know what I was gonna say that also hurts my soul. Hmm. Is Lots there was this girl? <laughs> huh? Lots of things. <laughs> a lot, a lot. But this one in, in particular really, yeah. really hits it hard. Yeah. There was there's this girl that I guess she was like I never really watched her stuff, but I always heard her name and I knew about her. her. Yeah. Um. But she would, I guess she was started getting popular at, like during Vine time, I think. And okay, then now okay. just trickled into whatever, whatever it is now. But she had dogs, right? And I guess she abused them. And it came out that she abused them because, well, now I don't know if she sold them or not, but they said that like she had someone, oh, she had asked somebody to watch her dogs for her to go and feed her dogs while she was gone or she was going to do something I don't know and they said hey you let me know this last minute I can't do it this day but like the other days I can because we already had talked about that right and she's like and it's text messages so the person kind of like exposed her for how she was acting because she was pretty much like if you don't if you don't come right now and do this like your job is done like you're fired (sighs) even though it was not a planned day she was texting out of nowhere it was not agreed upon no and so oh my gosh they kind of exposed her for that but they were saying that like she would lock her dogs in the room they not giving them any kind of exercise not letting them go out even into the rest of the house to where they would like pee and poop in the room because they had no other place to do it at choice she would yeah she would starve them pretty much or she wouldn't feed them and then when all this came out right she had posted a video I don't know if it was a video or a live I don't know what but she was like crying full-blown crying talking about I've never had nobody to teach me this. Like I'm learning this stuff all on my own, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking at getting triggered. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was literally like, you got uh, not even, I don't know how many dogs it was. Even if, even if it was just one, you got a dog, an animal period. Exactly. And didn't know how to take care of it. And then they're going to blame it on the fact that no one was there to teach you when there's, this is literally the age of the internet. You can look anything up on Google. Very like, easily in various yeah. forms, articles, podcasts, fucking videos. Video, like, yeah. Oh my lord. And she's trying There's to blame it on the fact classes. that no one taught there her. Is PetSmart? If you don't take your stupid ass to PetSmart, like, Dude, are you kidding me? I was like, what? And also, it, no one taught you how to feed the dog. You eat, don't you? I, I exactly. You don't <laughs> think that a living a living being needs food? Right. And water to survive and you're not getting tired of the fact that they're peeing and pooping in this room so you would think like where else should they go right like the most basic common sense stuff well she's i hope blaming that no one taught her taken away from her and put in a very yeah. blessed loving home where they're yeah. taken properly because she doesn't deserve it i'm like she's i can't even what? dude i i i watched it and i was like thinking about it because I was pissed right yeah and I literally look over at Sage and I'm just like I literally don't understand how someone can look at not even just a dog but their right. dog like yeah. your dog you have a bond have like that, like can, you know yeah I look at her sometimes and I start and I'm just like how are you just the sweetest little 
be perfect little angel literally. yes yeah. like i and we treat our dogs mind. like they're our children literally yeah because they are and i'm just if like you get it you get it you know and she it's clearly did it so she should not have know. had any kind of animals or dogs ever no why just because you wanted to post that you have dogs or like oh i got a puppy or like whatever and then right. do nothing to take care of it yeah and it's like had she just been like very honest and been like look i like bit off more than i could chew this hmm. is really something that i thought i was going to be able to take care of but the more mature thing would or responsible thing to do is to put the dogs with someone who can take care of them who knows exactly. how or is at least willing to learn how to take care of them you and know? make sure that it's going to be a loving home yeah. like make sure you're not just leaving it with anybody like yeah you know Oh my but not even that and then just not and still not sympathy. take responsibility yeah right yeah and and a no I'm sorry I I, I really just you can't convince me otherwise no, no one so if it was a child me. no one taught you how to be a parent either so that gives you the right to meant. starve them right. and neglect them that's neglect like yes. you there's no way you consciously consciously don't know exactly that some, yeah. you're not doing something right that you're not right. providing right. for this dog this right. animal like how like, we're learning things it was now intentional. About like, like kibble and like certain things that we, uh -huh. you know, given to our dogs before, like when you know better, you do better. But yeah, in that case, basic needs, like it's not that hard. <laughs> like it's right. really not that hard, you know? Like I'm just, I, it's so crazy to me. Cause I remember even thinking like before we got Sage, I was doing all kinds of research on like yeah. specific breed. Like, okay, yes. what are some traits to know about this? What should I know about the like, you, you literally know, looked up everything. I remember you did puppy. so much research. Yeah, All of your and I'm bookmark like... tabs were like this, 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 this about us. Writing it in my mixes. notes. Yeah. Why? Ha and even that, okay, if you don't do all of that, that's fine. But like, right. why do you not want to be prepared? Yeah. Like yeah. you should want to be as prepared as you can. And where did she get so. them? If Because when we got Rex, we had to specifically sign this contract stating that like, we're taking this on it's our responsibility yeah. we'll be getting exercised you know however much a day he has a place to run around yada yada like you yeah. have to sign for that and sometimes depending on where you get it they will literally do a home inspection that's crazy that's yeah. actually really really crazy that they have yeah. the time to do that they will literally come and check just to make sure that the dog is going to be given enough space you know has the right environment and all of that which is yeah you're adopting that animal like yeah like you chose this exactly. the animal didn't choose that you chose this Ooh. have no say so in it that chaps my ass for real chaps my ass did you see the tiktok video of that lady who brought like her big old dog to a yes. small dog park? yes i did Ooh, yes that chapped my ass so bad and i was like that's literally why i don't let my dogs go to dog parks with a bunch of dogs because i will go to jail it's I will. so it was so fucking aggravating that yes. video because it's like that also is what gives dogs and especially big dogs like a right. bad rep right. like a bad right. rap because the own she's not being responsible in how exactly. she's taking care of him you know exactly. what i'm saying like bring your dog to a dog park which actually which is weird because like before i heard oh it's a great place to like socialize your dog blah 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 and now i'm seeing that it's like it's not a good place to socialize your dogs it's it has tons of like illnesses and sickness diseases and all that right. stuff and so i'm like oh okay which we didn't really take Sage to dog parks. Like, I think we tried a couple of times, but really that was it. Yeah. And I was thinking like, dang, I felt bad that I wasn't taking her like right. more often, you know? Yeah. But now I'm like, okay, I guess it's, <laughs> I guess it's good. Yeah. Things change so often. Like they find new information or whatever. It's still, exactly. oh, we thought it was good, but it's not like right. with milk. Like before exactly. milk exactly. was like, drink your milk. So you have strong bones. Yeah. And you need the calcium. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Or strong teeth too. They said, it yeah, was I was just teeth. thinking that like strong teeth, strong bones. Yeah. Yeah. And like now it's don't drink milk. Yeah. You know, so it's just where how things change and all like, this stuff. But yeah. But um, then she left her dog. She, she literally left put it. the leash thing on the fence and was trying to fight these. And like, I don't blame the dog literally at all no. because based on that video alone, you can tell that she's never done any type of training. This dog is not she's irresponsible, disciplined, like, yeah. you know, like, ooh. and I don't think he was even really, I mean, obviously I didn't, we didn't see like, it doesn't the show whole. the whole thing, Yeah. but from what I seen, it didn't really look like he was actually going to attack other dogs. Like he no. was a big dog, small dogs. He's like 
because I know Sage, she plays like kind of aggressively. Right. So it looked, and it's happened a couple of times where she's gotten loose and it looks like she's going aggressively to up to another dog yeah. and they get yeah. scared. So they make all kinds of noise and they react. And they, exactly. Yeah. And like, you can't blame them because they don't know that. Exactly. Right? And so it's like, he might not even be actually attacking. He was probably just trying to play and mm-hmm. they got scared. Yeah. Because he's a bigger dog. And the thing so is, like, too, dude, she the brought... dog's not even doing anything wrong. And no. he, now he's confused because now he sees his owner and other people yelling and fighting and right. screaming right. and now all this looking stuff. at so, him like he's the yeah. problem. But so the now, like, too, nerves are up. Brought him to a, he or she, she brought the, the dog to a small, like a specific small breed only dog park. Like, yeah. there's a separate section for bigger dogs, like, probably for that reason, you know? Yeah. And they do that in almost... Well, all, I don't know if all of them, but all pretty of them. much all of them, yeah. Yes. And which makes sense. Yeah, it, it makes does. a lot of sense. Yeah, it really freaking does. So, oh, I was like, if I was there, bro. Yeah. And then all the, like, what pisses me off too is like all the people just standing there, like talking shit while they're making a TikTok. Like, yeah. it's cool that it surfaced for that reason for people to be more aware and to learn from that experience. But at the same time, you're not even doing anything. You're literally just standing on the sideline talking shit while yeah. creating this video I'm just like <sighs> like do better just do freaking better I, I honestly feel like at the end of like I would just leave mm-hmm. like I'd be like I, I need to go because if anything I'm gonna get into a fight I'm gonna get pissed yeah. something's yeah. gonna go down let's grab the dogs we're going yeah even because... if like our dogs weren't in the situation like, I, would, yeah. I would leave yeah and one of them was trying to leave and then the dog did jump on. It was like a small little like white dog. They were carrying them, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the dog like probably got scared, like you said, and like yelled tell aloud. Yeah. But <sighs> horrible, horrible, irresponsible. We literally went to one touch. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been cellmates, baby. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> oh my God. Well, speaking of TikToks. Mm-hmm. have you seen any tiktoks lately that were just like random and like you don't even know how that ended up like how did you get to that point of tiktok but it like blew your mind oh, i feel like i get there and it's hard because it'll ran i'll randomly think of him like oh dude this was crazy but then i can't remember it On like especially in the, yeah but I was looking at this before, um, speaking of dogs also, <laughs> I was I was on TikTok and I was just looking and eventually I got into um, lost dogs reuniting with their owners. Oh. Like if they got stole, if they literally just like ran away and got Ooh. lost. And the, re- the reunion. Yes. Fucking gets me, dude. I thought you were going to say the reunion. <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> I heard it. That's where my brain went to. <laughs> I was, I was like the <laughs> let me correct myself yeah <laughs> I oh thought I fixed God. it before <laughs> right Just before so, you would have been able to notice so heartwarming I'm sure dude that it, you know how we're talking about before how like homecoming videos oh well, like military homecomings or just yeah been away from the each dog other. The dog in dog form, reunion. yeah. Oh, it's, it hits even harder, dude. Yeah. I don't know why, but just the genuine excitement. Yeah. They don't know what they cannot contain They're themselves. Innocent as well. It's yes, it's so sincere and pure. Yeah, that it's I. It just gets me. Just does it hits me right it. in the heart. <laughs> yeah, it's the same about like. This is obviously the opposite side of it, but like if something happens to a dog in a movie. Everybody in that movie yeah. is going off. But if something yeah. happens to humans, like, damn, they should have known better. <laughs> it's like, all oh, that was sad. But the dog, yeah, not exactly. the dog. <laughs> exactly. Why are we like this? <laughs> it's because they can't, like, they just. They can't help it. No. And you just want them to survive. <laughs> Even if all of, if everyone else died, but the dog would survive. It's a good I'm okay ending. okay with that. Yeah. I can sleep knowing that that's okay. Like, <gasps> I, have that's you ever seen that video? Uh-huh. have you ever seen that video of um it was a husky and their owner had passed away and they're laying on the on the stone on the grave oh and bitch. just like the dog is literally crying oh, okay i can actually right now i can think of a, a crazy tiktok that's okay. what i think of it it's the same thing <laughs> except <laughs> actually no it's I not the same thing different <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not the same thing now that i'm get, about to explain it <laughs> It was a donkey who had been raised by a, like a little what? girl. <laughs> I was expecting you to say it was a dog. You say it was a donkey. <laughs> a whole donkey. Wait, say it like Shrek. 
I can't. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, good. <laughs> Donk it! <laughs> Donk it! <laughs> okay, you can continue now. I just needed that. You reunited with the little girl who helped to raise him, and I don't know why they had been separated. Aww. And when he seen her, it literally started crying in donkey. Like, <laughs> like you know the sounds a donkey makes, but it was crying. And it just Aww. walked up to her. <laughs> Like what? Wait, how do you say? You know, like on TikTok, they have like the emojis on the top, and it's like say like whatever it is, but say with this emotion, and you're saying like it said it in donkey, it cried in donkey. <laughs> how would that be said? Like the e on? How would that be said? <laughs> yeah. How would you say it's sad? You have to like. <laughs> 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 that's how i imagined it oh my god <laughs> oh that was good that was really good i like that that's Ooh. not what it sounded like no. <laughs> okay. it was more of like like a scream oh, like oh that's even sadder that's what i'm saying the trauma <laughs> the trauma of it all and it like nuzzled its head into her oh. neck and was like want, literally like going in for the hug like wanting to be embraced by her and it was just the cutest most random that. little Maybe thing ever donkey. Maybe she's Fiona now you're onto something we're Shrek Rex <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. imagine dude you know how we always have said like oh it wouldn't it be so cool if we could talk to our dogs like if they could speak back dude. to us what if they had accents <laughs> like you know how you got Rex from a shelter bro what if he had the most <laughs> he has a country accent, accent. <laughs> he's like howdy mama <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he would never know I would feel, never what, know is, what does accent. Rex give what what accent does Rex give Ooh. I feel like country could fit him because he's like really like rough, like you know, he's he's been through some things. What if I he had like a like thug that. ass accent? <laughs> 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 he's from the hood. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a Midwest would be not like a like a like Minnesota. No, 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 <laughs> not no, no. Like, <sighs> wait, is that even the Midwest? Oh my god, I'm or so maybe sorry. like a Georgia, like a Georgia well, accent. Oh my god, like I'm Atlanta. so stupid. His freaking breed originated in Louisiana. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> we figured it out. How about Sage? What does she give? Australian. Sage gives Australian all the freaking way. I don't know why, but I don't it just know. Goes. It just goes. Ooh, I don't know. Or maybe, um, <gasps> ooh, maybe like British or something. Because she's kind of like sneaky. Like she's kind of like mysterious, you know? She has, a, she has a Russian so accent. Because <laughs> she's kind of like not sneaky, but like you know, like I can, I can see, it. I can see like a British, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that for her, like New Zealand or something. Ooh, that would be sick. We're on Nova. Um, I don't know. I will tell you something though. Homegirl got into my freaking. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo earlier, and I, ooh, I was no, so I was she so had good mad. taste. Did she fuck it up? No, did she eat all of it? No, I put it oh. on the nightstand, like I pushed it though to where she couldn't uh -huh. get it. To my knowledge, I thought, uh huh. I went to the bathroom and I'm in the bathroom and I hear the freaking, I put the fork like on top of the pasta. Mm -hmm. I can hear the fork moving around and hitting like the sides. The of, yes. <laughs> And I was like, oh. you automatically and knew. I automatically knew who it was. Rex mm -hmm. wasn't even in the room. He was when I was in there. He when she started getting into it, I think he left because he's like, "Ooh, not me. I'm not gonna be caught up in this." And that's the second that's time it. he's done that, so he knows better. Yeah, he's like, "I know how this ends, and I, have, <laughs> I want no, to be nowhere near involved." He's like, girl, get in your bed. I'm so tired of you right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy my lunch. That's all. With her full belly, <laughs> she's like, "I need a nap." I needed a nap anyways. She got Chev's um like frappuccino one time too. Like no it wasn't way. like hella in it. He had already drank it, but it had like 
the java chips and whipped cream like you know at <gasps> oh, the bottom shit, when yeah. it just kind of settles yeah homegirl took the lid off chewed up the straw there was like green bits of the straw she's done lost her mind no, exactly. literally <laughs> she's something i'll tell you but her accent hmm <clears throat> I don't know. What's she? Good? I feel like I could see her as like a, like also country but different. Like she right. could be, like um, like a Wisconsin. That's not country. But like, like you know, like Minnesota has that like random like. Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Something Italian. <laughs> oh my gosh, she probably could be Italian like like a like a midwest i'm thinking that's why okay like i see her as like a midwest uh-huh girly yeah she's very girly mm-hmm. that's how i that's how i picture it i'm picking up what you're putting down <laughs> that makes sense that makes sense. i wonder what spirit would like what accent spirit would have I feel like he's like from the bay like the yeah, bay or like just like the epitome of like cool he gave, yeah he gives like big homie energy like he knows mm-hmm. all he's wise beyond beyond yeah. anything you know like just i would say either the bay or like new york sure. something yes. one of those or la or like something very culturally you know tough yeah yeah that's how i, I feel like i would imagine mm-hmm. him. i imagine him with like a deep voice too maybe like yeah, maybe like a, like a new voice. york accent maybe that like the bronx or something yeah like one of those mm, one of them <laughs> <laughs> we just do voiceovers <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. let us dude, know that would be, if you'd like to see that dude that would be hella funny be and do funny. it like when we're drunk or something and just let yeah. the accents like roll out please if one person comments down below we will do it. <laughs> i comment i know we both do <laughs> we in there that's hella funny i love that wow i love her but so i know i know oh dude Oh, okay. So my sister got a new dog, right? Mm-hmm. Tiniest little thing. Do you know how much he weighs? Probably like four pounds. One pound. One pound. And the most he's going to get is like five. So he's like a miniature. He's a, a Yorkie, I Yorkie? guess. Yorkie? Yeah. Yeah, he's a Yorkie. And so he's- What did she name him? Tiny. Oso. Uh, which means bear in spanish so we're because we're like going through different things we're like it'd be kind of funny to name him something like big because he's so tiny right and so we all land on also yeah Mm -hmm. i love that so um he's literally like this the i've never i don't think we've ever had that small of a dog in our family before yeah he's the first that's so cute yeah and i don't know i don't know him (laughs) well enough yet we just met (laughs) <laughs> so yeah. so I don't know what kind of accent he would give off yet. Mm. But we'll we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back to that. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta Congratulations kind of on being a he pizza gives again. Off. I, know. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. And then even on FaceTime, like in the car on the way back from getting him, uh-huh. like I would do like you know the high pitched voice when you talk to dogs or like babies. Yeah. I did that and he literally would do the whole head thing, like turn his head and look at me. And then when my I called my sister the next morning, like, how was the first night? Blah blah blah. And she shows me him on FaceTime and I do the voice. And even on FaceTime, he like turned his head. <laughs> and she's like, he doesn't do that for me. And I was like, like he just loves his teeth. I don't know what to tell I'm you. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> it's an instant connection. <laughs> and that's my fault because. <laughs> like you're mad because he loves me? Right. Isn't that what you want? You should um, imprint on him more. <laughs> like do the voice. Right. You know what works. Try to do <laughs> <laughs> Mel picks him up and she goes, she's like, I'm so strong. Look, I can pick him up. <laughs> He's one pound. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so freaking like, I need cute. To make sure I don't step on this freaking dog. No, honestly. I'm surprised. After you step on stage. Like, yeah. But that's because she our dog literally, they're like a tail. They will put yeah, like they literally will put themselves directly behind you. Like yep. you take one little miniature step backwards and they're right there. I accidentally like rolled, not rolled over Rex, but like he, I didn't know he was laying right behind my desk and I scooted back and he was like, I was like, oh my God, you already have an injured paw, please. Dude, I literally would have to do that with Spare. I would like, I'd have to look back before I'd push back because he would lay right behind it. Yes. And And you don't think of anything. You just get up and you're like, yeah, yeah. this is not, it's not a smart idea. 
mm, attached at the hip. Yeah. Love it though. I'm not complaining. Yeah, not complaining. Just for your own safety, you know. Right. <laughs> now I have to double check. <laughs> okay. So speaking of TikToks, mm-hmm. I seen the craziest thing. Okay. Okay. It literally was like never thought of this in my entire life. I don't know how I got onto astronaut TikTok. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. But and however my life has changed have you ever thought about how they wash their hair in space i'll let you answer go ahead <laughs> i would hope so if you ask me the question <laughs> you in the audience go ahead have you <laughs> let me know actually actually i i did see a video of a a female astronaut washing her hair one i'll time. never fucking mind because no, that's what, what if the other people you. haven't seen it they haven't seen heard of it okay so let's describe it to them since you have seen it did it blow your mind or did it blow your mind yeah when I first seen it I was like right how, well because it made me think about everything else too literally like, yeah rabbit hole yeah yeah so I seen the same video uh-huh stock value gone anyway <laughs> so there's there's a woman astronaut and she's in space at the time when she's filming which how did she post it I couldn't tell you <laughs> she, she saved it probably on a, a flash drive or something so they're just vlogging they're vlogging in space but is their fucking camera floating or they have to like put it to something probably have to put it to something that's a good question they're just moving with the camera to- <laughs> <laughs> so she like opens this pack of water and she starts like putting the water through her hair but the water like craziest thing i've ever seen water <laughs> goes like and it's floating around and she's like oh sometimes you just have to bring yeah. it back and i'm like what the fuck and then she like combs through it yeah and it's like her hair's actually wet it was yeah my mind and so then she like uses a non rinse shampoo or whatever she's like but it's best if you rinse it tip for for you everybody um if you happen to be <laughs> in, in case you ever life, happen to <laughs> you catch yourself in space and you with dirty hair <laughs> you take a wrong turn and end up in space just this is what you could do you heard it here first guys <laughs> we heard it from her but you're hearing it from us <laughs> So she's like washing her hair and she like starts combing it. And it's just the craziest thing. The fact that her hair is floating, like the freaking water's escaping her. It was just, it was crazy. The thing too, like, is like, if the water's escaping, but her hair's still wet, how does not all of the water, like some of the water just sticks, but it doesn't just float off with the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? I think because she was like, there was like a nozzle. It kind of looked like those applesauces for kids on the go. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of looked like that type of like top piece. Uh-huh. So it was like she was squirting into like her literal scalp. So then I guess maybe when she pulled it back, then she squeezed the bag and it maybe, I don't know. But she you said, said the, the word like thing about the water. That's a weird word. I'm not going to say nozzle. It nozzle. Nozzle. Did yeah. Like, do you ever think about that? Did I say that? You said nozzle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I swear. I'm pretty sure. If not, I'm going crazy. But I swear, <laughs> I heard you say nozzle, and then right after that, I'm like, nozzle. That's a weird word. Like, if you just think about it, that's a really weird word. That's from a, um, not the nozzle part, but when someone said a weird word, that's a weird word. That's from something. I don't know. I don't either, but it sounds. Because you know how when they say, "Oh, this is what English sounds like to non non English speakers," sounds wild. I feel like the word nozzle. That's weird. And yeah. I speak English. Very good. Not, it's a hard language. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Nozzle. It's funny because they say it's a hard language, but like almost every other country, a lot of the people there also speak English right. on top of their native tongue. Yet for but some reason, it's kind of sad that they have to learn. English. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but then for some reason in America, like not everybody can speak like when they go to another country they don't right. normally like will speak the language yeah, obviously there yeah. are people that can and do right. but not everybody they'll be like they'll expect them to know english even exactly. though they're in their country you yeah. know what i'm saying the entitlement right i'm like you you came here what right. do you mean you're visiting like, us i remember seeing a tiktok that was or just a video i think but where um this I don't know if it was a couple or like a family, but people pretty much it's people went to a Mexican restaurant, then got mad that the waiter didn't speak good English and put on the t- on the receipt for the tip 
the fact that they're not giving a good tip because they didn't speak good English. Oh and I'm like, you came here. Do you literally know where you're sitting right now? Right. What do you, why are it you just, surprised? It pisses me off that like, you enjoy the culture to a certain point and to where it's inconvenient for you. Exactly. Make it like, make sense. You, we did not ask you to come into our restaurant. Exactly. You came here. And we're not going to say what kind of people they were, but um, the entitlement for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. I was like, that's ugly. God don't like ugly. He don't. Mm -mm. But yeah, that was the craziest TikTok I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no dude that's actually crazy like to think oh or when have you seen um when they show like what is it the g-force what that looks like what it does to people's faces when yeah. they're in the plane and oh yeah. dude it like it like instantly ages their face to where they look i'm not even kidding like 60 years older or something Ew. Wait, all of that yeah it goes back to normal oh. after but wow. i can only assume that like it has to mess with the muscles or like the skin on yeah. your face that it makes you it actually will make you age faster but it doesn't like it won't stay that way but it's because of the pressure like because if oh, you're you oh, start going so fast right. it weighs your face down and then once you like, get back to like electricity out of that yeah. dude Whoa. if i if i come across it again i'm gonna try to look for it i'll send it over to you well my phone's right here so my agent listening it'll probably be on yes, my it'll come up yeah. it'll come up and it'll you let me know phone. <laughs> let me know because let you know. it looks so crazy that's scary to see yourself yeah. like go from how you look normal and then no that would scare me honestly that would really scare me i think i'd be like damn is that really what i'm gonna look like <laughs> i'd be like oh that's shit. what i'm saying it would scare me yeah <laughs> i <I'd> go str <laughs> drive straight over to the botox like plastic <laughs> surgery place Breathe me <laughs> <laughs> dude I, I wonder if you have like hella botox in your face if that helps keep it still or if the g-force is enough pressure that it what if it distorts all of the botox that's in your face because of the pressure and then all of a sudden you just got lumps everywhere because now it's not well, botox smooth freezes the the muscle but what if it only it unfreezes certain areas so you can oh. move a muscle but not the other part Ooh. you know what i mean that would be a waste of money I would be like, like, I need a refund immediately <laughs> for this experience. Like, it's not our fault alone. you decided to go to space after getting <laughs> some Botox or filler. <laughs> like, did you ask me if I got Botox? That's on you. I signed a waiver for everything but that. <laughs> you got me messed up. Now you're paying for round two. Thank That's you very much. Funny. But I have Ooh. heard of people who get filler and like, um, let's just say their cheekbones or something. And then eventually mm -hmm. after a few years, like it moves around. Ooh. So, you know, just be careful. Yeah. You know, that's you scary. don't have to, like, I think also with, like, the way that Instagram is and Instagram models and, you know, Facetune and all of social media having to be perfectly looking yeah. and whatever, it's, like, that does put a lot of pressure on someone, you know, and to look a certain way and to fit those standards, but you really don't have to do that. Like, you really Yeah, it's funny because, like, I mean, not really to call people out, but it just is what it is. It's right. like the same people that say like, oh, beauty's like, it doesn't, you don't have to fit like societal norms and blah, blah, blah. Like everyone's beautiful yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But then like at the same time, you're doing things to fit those societal norms right. that right. you're talking about don't matter. Double round BBL. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you know? like the words you're saying are kind, right. but with your history it just makes it less meaningful right it's less meaningful coming from you right because you've also done like things to fit the norms the same also. norms you're talking about don't matter yeah like oh no it doesn't matter for you but on me but for me right. i'm gonna do it like and i'm gonna practice reward. what we preach you know yeah yeah, yeah. teach their own if you I'm saying, like do you. you do yeah you. but then also don't be the one who's you know natural beauty and natural <laughs> bodies like like you gotta pick one yeah, you really do rich. but I it's get it like rich. also with being like a model or something like that I also understand the pressure they have versus just everyday come folk like yeah. us you know what I'm saying um <laughs> they, <laughs> folk like us. <laughs> they have like a higher standard to me at all times you know yeah they have to keep us keep up a certain um persona look yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to be booked to do work you know booked you know? and busy you know that that one uh 
like contestant in America's Next Top Model where she's like, yeah, I just don't think I can do it. And then they're like, well, don't you want to even see what it's like if she just turns around and walks out? No, I don't. <laughs> like she was like, like I, I why just are you here <laughs> yeah they're, she, they're like i just can't take the pressure like and they're like well don't you want to and she literally just mid-sentence she's like and like, walks yeah. out and it was like out. and i was like you know what good for her good for you yeah. because the sh- the things they put those women through right to, to boot them the next week or the next day especially after the makeovers like That's how insane. freaking dare you <laughs> When they put, they made that lady put a gap in her freaking mouth. Like, I had a gap, okay? And then said, and bye. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> didn't make the cut. Now she's going home with the gap. Literally. Or the one who had to shave her head. Like, yeah. yo. They really, I feel like that was so, um, kind of just felt like bullying. It felt it like was. bullying when they it really. Absolutely was. Put them in the most ridiculous like hairstyles or just completely out of their comfort zone just because. Right. And then to be like, this is what it takes to be a real model. Like right. if you really want to make it, no, then you no have look. to do this. And I'm like, but you're giving them that hairstyle. Then but talking Tyra, about how they couldn't. You look like a freaking princess. Like She's what? Literally Barbie girl. <laughs> what is it? Life size? yeah like literally a doll i really like that movie actually yeah it's a good movie <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but then she's turning these girls into like oh they have to be able to like make this crazy crazy look work to be a real model it's almost just to prove how far they're willing to go yeah to win the competition not even just to be a model because some of them don't even get that opportunity like they get the little yeah. contract or whatever but after that they may or may not get booked and busy you know <laughs> right and I think, um, obviously, they I, all probably sign NDAs. And I think, mm-hmm. what was that one girl who actually started talking out? She had one. And she started speaking. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I don't know her name. I don't remember her but name. she was saying that, like, it didn't really help her, something yeah, like that. I, I was so like, sad. damn, that's crazy. Like, I feel like maybe initially it did to have your name out there. Yeah. But not maybe it wasn't enough to, like, now thinking back on it, like, maybe it wasn't enough to keep her working. It was just like, oh, yeah, I seen her on there. That's cool. She yeah. won. But it's not like enough to keep her with constant off, work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because you can only say, I was America's Next Top Model season da, 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 for so long, you know? Yeah. Mm. That's rough. Yeah. Bless them all. <laughs> Honestly. <clears throat> okay. I don't have any other TikToks. That was literally the only one. <laughs> yeah, same girl. I was reaching. I was no, really okay. reaching in the that, depths that of the back well. of my mind for those. <laughs> No, that worked well. I have one more thing um, from Twitter that I saw. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to, this one's interesting to me. I read some of the comments too, so I can kind of uh, tell you what those people said too. But <clears throat> okay, so I have a question, Gina. Yeah. So there was people on Twitter and they were debating about if you're a bridesmaid or a maid of honor, someone in the bridal party. I would say either way, like a groomsman from the groom side or a bridesmaid from the bride side. Mm-hmm. Are you obligated to stay for the entire wedding? The reason why this one, like, it really interested me. Yeah. Is that why are they using the word obligated? Right. Because in my opinion, like, yeah, like, it means I'm being made to. I have to do this. Right. But if you're a... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like something they wouldn't want to do, but oh, now I have to because and we've I'm already a- talked about how we don't like to do things that feel like chores. But it's know? like if you're part of the the party, right? The bridal right. party, the group, the whatever. Um, then I'm assuming it's because you're really close with the right. couple, with one, whichever the bride, the groom, whatever. And you. So why would you? Exactly. So then, why would you not want to be there for the whole thing? Right. Is what I'm thinking. You know, like why do you right. feel obligated? Why don't you just want to be there? Exactly that's exactly what I thought too I was like I don't like that word first of all and second yeah. of all why like you said if it's your best friend or one of your closest friends why wouldn't you want to be there for their entire experience of getting to see them yeah. have fun and why wouldn't you want to have fun with them and really party I can understand like you know situational factors like if they have a child and they can only get a babysitter for right. x amount of time but you already told the person it's not like you just dipped out after the ceremony you know yeah like I understand things like that or you know an emergency or something but you just showed up and then you're like oh I'm dipping I don't have yeah time you're like this. hey can't wait to leave yeah mm-hmm. like that's you shouldn't have agreed to be in that role yeah you know 
that's really weird to me. Yeah. Why it, don't you want to be, why don't you want to be there? And it was literally a debate. Like people were going back and forth and saying like, well, no, like, well, you know, they were there for the part that they were kind of a part of, you know, uh -huh. since they have to walk down the aisle before, you know, whomever yeah, yeah. is walking. Like they're whatever. part of the ceremony. Exactly. So they're like, uh -huh. their quote unquote performance is over. But I'm like, that doesn't make up for the fact that that's your friend or that's your family member who's, yeah. This is like the special date. Everybody dreams. I'm like, well, not everybody, but like most people, like they're excited for their wedding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of the times we think about it for years and years, not to like every detail, but being like, oh my gosh, that's going to be so much fun. Uh -huh. or like I want it to be like this or yada, yada. So why wouldn't you want to be there to support your girl or your friend or like whatever? Like what? That's what I'm thinking. Like I'm genuinely trying to think, trying to see the other, yeah, the other side of like, yeah. why wouldn't they want to say? And besides the, the like the, yeah, the examples that you gave of like, if they only have a babysitter for a certain amount of time, yeah. or let's say they just got super drunk. So now they're like, they need to go and sleep. Right. Like, things where things come up or whatever, that's different than exactly. not than just leaving because you don't want to be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, if it's not for one of those reasons, then why do you want to leave the part, like the party part? Isn't that, why the is that even a thought? Yeah, it's one part. The ceremony is the like, oh, shoot, I have to walk and make sure my steps are even. And like, you yeah, know, like the fun part is getting drunk with your friends and whoever yeah. and partying, and celebrating dinner mm -hmm. and whatever and just celebrating their love. That's like, why would you to want to witness that? That doesn't make sense to me. Like, are you not happy for them? And I love weddings. Do you not want to celebrate with them? Yeah, you I know? freaking love weddings. Like, I, I love have... seeing people in love. I just love love. Like, I just love seeing people happy, you know? I've never been to, like, I've never been to a wedding where I really knew the couple. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I don't, I I haven't, and even, I don't know when's the next time I'm going to be, like, at a wedding. Yeah. With yeah. with a couple that I actually really know. So, I'm right. like, oh, my God. Like, this is, like, obviously, I can be them. Like, this is really sweet. Like, you can tell they love each other, yeah. and that's great. It just feels, like, different special. When you know the couple. And you're oh, like, yeah. oh, my God. This is so amazing. I'm so happy for them. Yeah. Like, like so you've cool. watched them grow into yeah. that relationship that they're choosing to make this commitment in front yeah. of, of the witnesses. Like, they're showing and I don't know love when. And yeah. when I'm ever gonna like get when that's actually gonna happen You're right. but like up until now I haven't been to a wedding where like, I really knew the couple yeah so I'm really excited for to be able to experience it yeah. actually I'm yeah. going to a wedding this year later Ooh. I don't really know the couple that well but uh -huh. um like them as a couple mm -hmm. but I'm excited to be going to like an act like a like a full wedding I've right. never like been a full to event one, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I've never been and so oh I'm like God. you're gonna love it I'm dude. so excited for you I, I I'm like cu curious to see how um the other side parties you know what right. I'm saying yeah like I think that's also what I'm kind of excited for I just feel like it's gonna be a story dude, weddings get lit bro if they're done right you know uh-huh they get freaking lit it's a lot of fun like people oh, usually God. like will be on the dance floor dancing until who knows when till yeah. you get kicked out really because everybody parties different you know yeah. and not that's not well to I say hope that, like, that for you I'm hoping that you yeah, have yeah. the time of your life that it really gives you the movie type of experience you know yeah I hope they so hella too. hype it up like movies I just want to have like a, a I mean an, like, an experience you know yeah like even if it's they don't party the same this. way like <laughs> I, huh it's gonna be experience regardless. <laughs> That's what I like. As long as it's be that, that I'm like, even if it's different, I like different. Yeah. Like I like to yeah. see. I think I just genuinely like to see people having a good time, even exactly. if it's something that I would never do myself. Right. But when you right. see people just like letting loose and having fun, yeah. it's fun. I don't it care is. what if it's music I don't listen to or what dances I don't know, but y'all are having a good time and yeah. you don't like and you you're know letting everyone have else a have a good time. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it's like. You can tell when it's a it's a good environment. To exactly. Like just have fun. Right. And I think for the most part, if you're getting invited to that wedding, it's because, you know, they wanted you to be there. So yeah, you're going to go with good energy. People are going to go with good energy. I mean, there might be, you know, better. One or two tias that are like, just they will not be at mine. Shit, but they will not be at mine. No, you could. You need to leave. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> No, but I'm excited for you. I can't wait to see what you want to wear. And that's like a whole last other thing, too. I know. I love like already started sure looking. It's not like the bridesmaids colors, you know, or like, ooh, that gets scary. 
<laughs> I get the exact same color. <laughs> Dude, you literally look like you're a part of the wedding. Dude, yeah, no, 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 definitely not. Definitely not. That being said, yeah, I think that um that brown dress that you have it would be pretty. That's like a wedding, I like that dress, like a wedding guest type of dress. I feel. Yeah, well, depending I like that on one. what I just time really of wanted... year, actually. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, it'll be for the the summer to August. Oh, okay, yeah. I think yeah. that one will work because and then in the nighttime, if it gets cold, it's like long enough to where you won't be like true. Cold, you know? Very true. I think I also I enough. just want to get like a um um like a, a waist shawl. trainer or like no like oh. a shapewear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little shawl for your shoulders. <laughs> I'm like now, girl, I'm trying to suck in this gut. <laughs> You're beautiful the way you are, you little bitch. (laughs) You're hella funny. Thank you. (laughs) But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a drive. I'm gonna have to literally get straight off work and then just change in the car. Yeah. Depending on where it is, maybe you'll have time. It's kind of far. Well, from where we're at. Yeah. Well, (laughs) it's not gonna work, but maybe you could take a half day. The good thing is that it doesn't start till later in the evening so that it works out perfect. That it gives me time to get it together a little bit. Get it together, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. You got if it. not, no one's going to be fucking looking at me. I can get it, get it together <laughs> after the ceremony. <laughs> right. be fine for the Everyone's going to be drunk by that point after the ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so it's fine. You know what I actually seen that was really cool is um, instead of the time that you put on your invitations being the actual time that the ceremony starts, that you have like a little... I don't know, like cocktail hour before. So people are already getting a little bit to eat and have a drink before the ceremony. So they're not sitting there all antsy, like hungry as hell or like, yeah, you know, they're already mingling like the different families or different sides are kind of like mingling a little bit. So by the time it's the actual party, it's like people kind of know each other and it's like not as awkward. Exactly. I was like, that's actually a really good idea. That's really smart. Mm -hmm. And then during that time, the specific couple that did it where I saw, during that time they got to do private vows so they got to do like the reveal of the bride and then they got to do private vows meanwhile it wasn't like the people were just waiting on them you know yeah like that's honestly i like the idea of um private vows thing because i want (laughs) to yeah because like okay i would i want to have like that intimate moment of us like just sharing our own thoughts but i'm not the type to like do that in front of people like i'm not a big uh pda person when it comes to you know yeah it's just it's like obviously not like you can't touch me it's not like that either but i don't want to be all super super lovey-dovey yeah and also people don't need to hear that that's yeah it's just it's for me and you you know like let's do it on our own privately and then it's for me and you (laughs) (laughs) yeah you like you like that huh (laughs) and then in front of people it's just it's it's sweet but it's short you I want a short, sweet, enjoy like, it. It, yeah, you won't enjoy it as much. And I feel like also you're going to filter what you're going to say, because not that you're embarrassed, but like, you don't want to be embarrassed in that way. And yeah, because it's a different many side of you. Exactly. And yeah. most people don't know that side of you in your relationship. Yeah. And so it's like, no, I completely agree. Like, yeah, yeah I want to say a little something at the altar, probably just like the regular whatever. Yeah. Or at our version of that, you know, but like, I think it's sweet when I hear other people yeah. just in my own. I feel like I would just I think I would like Social it better. Anxiety in yeah. Also is a factor. yeah. You know, yeah. And I'm I already going like to be also- thinking about the fact that everyone's staring and looking. Yeah. And That's I feel enough. like. I don't want to be as emotional at that part. Like you're going to mess up your makeup and all that. Like mm-hmm. at least at that point, if you do it, just you two, you have time to go and like have the makeup touch artist up. touch it up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a crier, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm a crier. So if I hear one sniffle, I'm going off. <laughs> you hear a, and you're like, oh allergies. <laughs> they're like, no, nah, I've, I've been sick. <laughs> why the fuck are you here <laughs> like get out of here you know, get out, out. <laughs> that's oh hella my funny God. well <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed us shooting the shiz it's naive <laughs> <laughs> we're just in a silly goofy mood this week again a little bit silly you're so silly. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I didn't want to 
want to cut you off. <laughs> That's all right guys funny. we're gonna go but before we do i have one little wisdom of the week for us and this is a good one it. this is yeah. a good one you get to decide how you show up in this world no one gets to dictate to you who you are mic drop yep and that was for my book actually that i just finished okay how was it very good it actually was um after I read it, you like on Kindle on the app, it shows you more that is like based on your reading. Right. And apparently that book was number one on Amazon this week. Wow. Or in the top 10 or something like that. Uh-huh. But it was ranked very high. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. You know what's I'll put funny? A screenshot of it right here, guys, if you want to read it. Is the the silent patient, the one that I'm gonna give you tomorrow. Uh-huh. I looked it up on right TikTok. Okay, so and <laughs> If you've read it or if you're thinking about reading it, I just want to know. Well, no, if you've read it, I want to know your opinion because I looked it up on TikTok after having read it, right? Because I was like, I really liked the book. I thought it was a really, really good book. And it was like really mixed reviews on it. Like some people said they did not like it like at all. And like, I because the thing is, is, you know, how do I explain it? Like, it's just kind of, you know, you got to keep reading it and different things come up. So I think they were more like, oh, I wanted to get to the point. But for me, I felt like it was needed. Like all these things that they touched on was like, oh, damn, like that's crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. Whatever. It adds to it. Yes. You know, so it all tied together afterwards. And so I really liked it, but come to find out a lot of people did not like it at all. So I'm really, I really am curious to see if you like it or not. Huh? Is it because people or those people specifically lack patience? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good. And you know what's too is that the chapters in the book are pretty short. So really? for me, it also felt like a faster read because for I feel like when there's long ass chapters, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. when I don't when, know why I think that when it's when the like the length of the book could be like this. Yeah. But if it's small chapters, I feel like I get through it a lot faster than if it's like just short or like long less amount of chapters right no, you know so to me it didn't feel like a long read because the chapters were really small and it would move on to something else or like a different yeah. thing whatever so I don't know yeah I'm really so curious now my book at Gino's library <laughs> I cannot wait I cannot wait to see what you think about it I wish I had more actual physical books that I could give you but I can give you at least the recommendations that I read on yeah and then I know I need to go, so like get that shit it's because I, I need to have the book, like the physical book. But have book. you tried? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like it, if it you first haven't the, tried, then. No, it, 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 for some reason, like I can do it for a little bit, mm-hmm. but then I, I know that I will not go back to it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. I wish it did because it would save me a lot more money. Yeah. But it, it, for some reason, I, I just need to have the book. I yeah, think it gets yeah. me more... I don't know. I really don't understand like, the logic the of it. Turning of the pages, like smelling the book. Like I love all that shit too. It's like something nostalgic yeah. about it. It's that's it this week, guys. <laughs> so that's it. We <laughs> that's love all, y'all. Folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be back next week as always. Probably have stories to tell from tomorrow. Yes, we will have to do a little <laughs> recap because we're gonna we're gonna be on some shenanigans shit, you know? Sorry. Stay tuned, y'all. Peace. Bye.